hello welcome to my channel today i want to show you how to prepare a small floral arrangement for the arch but this is an arch that's gonna have a left corner arrangement not an angle it's gonna be um vertical i'm gonna have a small arrangement in the right leg of the arch this is the small arrangement that i have to put in the right uh, side so I already have my flowers here are hydrangeas that I dyed in that color that's the color of the bride I have uh, five this is not a big uh, arrangement it has to be small and also I have um, the fillers gonna be baby breasts then I have spray roses and I have white roses and I brought this amazing wire that I always use when I have to attach something. It is really a flexible, really easy, but a very strong. It's, uh, it's wrapped on um, in green uh, floral tape. The floral tape that we use for the this one, that we use for the, make this, the, um, the personal flowers, to finish the personal flowers, you wrap it up in that, in that tape. And this Y, I have to tie it up here but I know now, I'm not gonna do that now because I'm, I have to wait until I arrive to the uh, 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 venue and do the setup of the arch. So I have to keep this close to take it to the venue. And then I add this uh, tape because it's going, the arch is gonna be in an outside area, very windy because it's on the beach. Uh, I don't wanna have any problems thinking that the wind is gonna be moving this, um, you know, hitting the people or distracting the people. So once uh, after I, I hang the, the arrangement from the crossbar, I'm gonna attach this arrangement with this tape. And also I'm gonna take the green one, the strong one, to put the to 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 be sure that they're gonna be okay. Well, let me start with the with the flower. So what I have to do now is I have to cover this portion. I don't want the people to see. I know that there is fabric and some uh, other elements that is gonna help me, but uh, why I have to take the risk and you know um, taking this without knowing that 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 part. Is not um, cover. So I resolve all the problems here. This is too big. Yeah, that's good. And now the other one over here. We found a friend. Okay. Um, the last one. You see, you have to cut really short the stems. Okay, it's already have the shape. Now, I have my trash really close to me as always. I'm gonna start adding the roses. I brought just a few because I don't need too many. Otherwise, over here even when you put the roses among the hydrangeas they're gonna start to uh, open it and cover more the covering more the surface as I told you before um, I don't like to work uh, symmetrically so um, I like to uh, make believe that they, <laughs> they grow there what well, is like uh, impossible but uh, um, I feel that the, when you put everything so symmetrical, it doesn't um, develop the feeling of natural. this here I 
and now I'm gonna add the filler with the filler I will finish the shade by um, filling those portions that I believe are um, they have uh, holes um, also I'm gonna put a and those spaces that I, um, I think I needed to make it look oh, nice. This is too long. Just a little bit more over here. Over here. And that's it. It's gonna be very nice. Okay. Now I have to prepare the other one that goes on the left side, top left side of the arch. I'll be back. Here I am again. Okay. I have the piece of oasis that I have to attach in the left corner, but this is not gonna be an angle, it's not gonna be horizontal, it's gonna be vertical. This is a, is a cage, it's come in this way, and it, it is really good um, when you have to put it in, in this, uh, in this uh, way, when you have to put it um, vertical. If not, I can use I can use the same one that I, I, I showed you before and in other videos. Okay, I'm gonna start working. It has the same colors as the other one. I already have my hydrangeas here, my spur roses, my white roses, and my filler that is the baby breath. Um okay. After the ceremony, uh, that's the other reason why I use this kind of case. After the ceremony, I have to remove these flowers and they're gonna go to the sweetheart table. So they're gonna have two functions, in the ceremony and after the ceremony. Let me start working with this. Now I am working in symmetrical way, at least at the beginning, until I can um, find a place for the hydrangeas, and then it's gonna be more relaxed. Um, I guess that I need to add white hydrangeas. If I see they are not gonna work, I'm gonna um, remove it. Let me see if I put it over here. I like a lot to leave the leaf. Okay. Okay. Uh, too many, too many. Okay, yes.
and of course I'm gonna use the same wire that I used before and the same zip tape that I showed you before. I'm gonna start working with the rosa. Well, actually, it has to be a little bit symmetrical because I just <laughs> forgot that it has to be in the sweetheart table, so the shape is gonna be in a special shape. You know, it has to be in the front of the table. So maybe it's a little bit longer on the extremes. I'm gonna start to put in the spray roses. I don't know. Yes, I know, I know. Where are you? Okay, good, good girl. Uh, the last step, the baby breath. That is the feeler. It's gonna be big. And I'm, I always uh, do in this dish, I always prepare this arrangement in this dish because um, I can add water until the water reach the oasis so in that way I can guarantee that the uh, hydrangea is gonna be in touch of the water until the party and I have no any problem with the flowers later Okay, I'm finished. Oopsie, sorry. It's a little messy. Well, the next time when uh, you see me, I'm gonna be at the venue hanging this uh, floral arrangement in the arch. I see you tomorrow. Thank you.